with Gypsy Fae Creations. So I had a series of soaps that were all drink inspired and I was only going to do three. But I was contacted by a shop in Ellicott City, Maryland that kind of specializes in dessert, bath and body type products. And they want me to make them two loaves of soap, which I'm really excited about. I'd love to put more soaps in different stores. But she's looking for some summer scents. And she chose pina colada and strawberry daiquiri as the soaps that she wanted. So today I'm just doing the strawberry daiquiri and I thought I'd show you guys that. I've kind of made enough pineapple soaps, I think, that you you could probably use a break. <laughs> so I'll just show you the strawberry daiquiri soap today. So I poured my, my oils and my lye and I'm going to mix them together. So the shop is called Sweet Suds Bath Boutique. I'm gonna see if I can just show you the Instagram here and how everything is kind of like a bath treat, whether it's a cupcake or a donut. And they're kind of new. They just opened up on the main street in Ellicott City. Haven't gone the visit, but I know once these soaps are done, I can't wait to go in and see all the good stuff that she has. So I'm going to split this batter into three. We are having a thunderstorm right now, so if you know you hear a loud boom, that's what's going on. Welcome to Maryland. It rains a lot. All right, so in one of these I have titanium dioxide, and another one I have some firecracker by Nurture Soap with a little bit of titanium dioxide, and then in this guy I've got some love poem mica. And I'm going to add some of that in there. So it's kind of like pink and like a red and a white. Let's mix these guys. That looks good. So Ellicott City is kind of like a historic city in Maryland. Um, and they have a lot of cutesy little shops up and down their main street. A lot of great restaurants. I kind of grew up going there. It's changed a lot since I was little. But it's still really, really fun to visit and just walk around, especially in the fall when the leaves start changing. It's gorgeous. All right, so the scent I picked out is some strawberries and cream fragrance. And it does contain a vanilla, so there is a little bit of vanilla stabilizer in there. That's what I like about Crafter's Choice. They put it right on the bottle. I'm just going to split this into these three bowls. And mix them in. Okay, so to make this look more like a strawberry, I have some poppy seeds. I'm just going to sprinkle some of those into the pinks and mix them in. It's going to be really pretty. Not a big fan of the smell though. I don't know if I'm. Strawberries are just. Bleh. The smell of strawberries. There it is. I'm just not, just not liking it. Kind of reminds me of like that strawberry cough syrup, that Tylenol. Uh, not my style. Personal preference. Can't like all the scents. All right, so let's start pouring. I'm gonna move my mold up and bring you guys in for a closer look. All right, let's start with a pink. And we're just going to alternate these. Can't, I, look, I've lost track of what I've done already. I think I've messed it up. It's okay. It's 
it's okay. It'll still be pretty. I totally f forgot what order I was going in. Doesn't matter. It's not necessarily a drop swirl. Some, I think it's a stripe method. We're making stripes in it. Until I get to the top and I just make a mess. So I talked to this owner of Sweet Suds on Instagram before she had liked my stuff and I think someone tagged me in her post because she's local. And I talked to her for a little bit and you know said if you were ever interested in any soap so let me know. And a couple ma months have passed by and a co-worker of mine said that she was in a shop in Ellicott City and all the stuff there reminded her of me and she was talking to the owner and the owner said oh yeah I would love her information <laughs> I was like well she already has it so I contacted her and then she was like I'm looking for some summer soaps I want to buy a couple loaves and I seem to get that a lot every time any of my friends or family members are out shopping and they see some cutesy little boutique they always talk about me and they're always recommending me to shop owners so I did go out today to um, Main Street in Bel Air in Maryland and talk to a woman about getting my soaps on display there so I'm just spreading the love around Maryland right now I love getting my soaps out there I just wish I had more time to soap since this is something I do part-time and work kind of gets in the way of that. Alright, so I'm going to scrape out my bowls here. I went to this girl up in Bel Air and said, so my mother-in-law, my stepmother, a friend, a brother-in-law, and a sister have all probably come in here and mentioned my name to you. And then she knew who I was. I was like, so I thought I'd come say hi and just check the place out because that way everyone can stop asking about, sorry, stop asking about it. I'm going to like keep hitting this camera and apologizing every time I do it. I'm trying to shoot from my counter now because... I get better light on my kitchen counter, I think, than I do on that table. I'm like right next to two windows. And I like the lighting better. So I'm going to give this a try for a little bit. See how it goes. So if you have a preference, if you guys want to chime in and say which filming view you like better better whether it's the table the white table with the ugly looking <laughs> marks all over it or the kitchen counter like I can do that the whole time <laughs> which one should I soak from you guys tell me <laughs> all right so I'm just scraping out this last bowl here I'm going to give this mold a whack. And then I'm going to get the icing together. And I'll show you the inbeds, our little strawberries. And then I've got paper straws. I think I'm getting my use out of these paper straws. I've used them in so many soaps. I still got more. Oh no. I had to put them in all my soaps. <laughs> Alright, time to get the icing on. I just got a Wilton 1M. 
kind of looks like whipped cream, right? Alright, since summer has officially begun, time to talk vacation. What is everyone's plans for vacation this summer? Anything interesting going on? We have planned to go to Maine with another couple. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> we started talking about Arizona and then somehow we went from Arizona to Maine. So, whatever. Never really been up there. We're going to leave on a Wednesday and we're going to stop over in Salem, Massachusetts and see all the witchy stuff. I'm really excited about that. I've always wanted to go up there. And then we're going to spend the night there, wake up the next day and go to Bar Harbor. We've got a little motel out there and we're going to do um, the Arcadia National Park and we're going to eat all the lobster and all the blueberry pie. <laughs> that is kind of the only thing on my list of things to do up there. I haven't looked too much into it, but I know they're known for blueberries and lobster and lots of shopping and lots of hiking but if you've been to Maine and you have any recommendations let me know in the comments down below what should we get into there's four of us and from Maryland to Maine it's like a ten and a half hour drive so it's not that bad plus we're stopping over um, any particular restaurants anyone know of that have the best breakfast or the best lobster, obviously. You probably all do. I mean, it's Maine. Alright, let's, let's finish this off with some dollops on top. This looks so much like whipped cream. Love it. We still have to get the hotel for Salem, so if you also know any spooky hotels that I should stay in, give me some advice. So we're going in July, and hopefully that's a really good time of the year. I do plan on seeing a beach. I know it's Maine. <laughs> And they probably aren't like known for their beaches, but there is sand beach up there. And it kind of looks like foresty, main pine trees. And then there's a beach. So, I don't care. I want to sit on a beach. It is a must for summer. All right, so we got that on. And then I'm going to stick the straws in this side. Actually, I have an idea. So I've got some mountain pour that I've colored red. And I'm going to just make some strawberry drizzle on here. I think that's what it needs. that thunder. Nothing's going to stop me from soaping. Hopefully our, fa our basement doesn't flood again. I feel like it's all it does anymore is just rain anymore. Alright. Back to the straws. so delicious. Alright, and then I'm going to flip it around and put the strawberries on this side. slippery. Which 
try not to lose one here. Hard to get a grip on. All right, and then I gotta fit this last one in here so I can always tell, already tell this is gonna be fun to cut. But there we go. I'll let this sit for about a day or two. And I'll come back to cut it. So I'm back to cut this, and I'm in love with this already. Like I just pulled that out of the mold, and I'm already loving the designs and the colors. But before I get started on cutting this, I wanted to share a package that just arrived at my door. If you saw the video that I did with Moonfern Studios, we did a collaboration on some wine soap. And we exchanged a bar and some other goodies with each other. And mine just literally got to the door. So these are some, some gummies that she sent me because I love different sweets from other countries. And then she sent me this little keychain that is adorable. She said it came from Brazil. And then the showstopper are her soaps. So she sent me them in these little bags. And as soon as I opened the box, I was like in heaven because it smelled so good. And she wraps them so nicely and her packaging is beautiful. I love the packaging on this ingredients but that right there is amazing like the camera just doesn't even show in person how awesome her soaps look and then there was the other one the main reason <laughs> that one right there this is Tierra's Cabernet because I named the soap that I made Vanessa's Vintage so I am just digging these soaps they are so cute and they smell so good. Like these, I don't even want to use these. I kind of want to open one to look at the inside. Oh, look at that. That was, I think, her gradient pour. That is beautiful. They smell so good. I don't want to use them. All right, let's cut this. When I do get to use them, I will let you guys know how awesome they are, I'm sure. Okay, if you guys don't know, Vanessa is from Ireland, and so that's why she sent me the goodies, the candy, because you can't get them here in the U.S. I don't think you can, unless it's something new. I feel like they have versions of other candies here, like things are starting to slowly catch on, because a lot of the companies are like sister companies. Um, I think it says on here like Nestle is the brand of this candy so a lot of the um, gummy bears and things are very similar that is too cool I'm loving it it's like a, a tiger stripe I guess or a tiger swirl I'm not quite sure the proper name for it And I have some sad news, guys. When I got done shooting this video, because I shoot my videos like weeks ahead before I edit them and upload them. And I was talking about how this is going to Elegant City. How cool that is. Love it. <clears throat> and how it was raining. And at that same moment, when I got off Facebook, I found out that Elegant City had flooded like extremely bad now if you've ever visit if you ever get to visit Ellicott City they have a bridge there when you enter the town and they mark off over the years all the floods they have or had and how high each one of those has gone now this has happened like once every 100 years it's never been something to happen every year but unfortunately, this has happened more often. The last one was in 2016. And the poor people that live there and have shops there, whoops, almost dropped it, 
are just now rebuilding their lives there and it happened again. I mean, it was like a river flowing through this town and it's so sad. Straws are getting a little tricky on me here. Anyway, I absolutely love how the soap turned out. I want to try doing more soaps in this technique. I think it's perfect for this design of soap. Right. So anyway guys, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone's awesome comments that they leave me. Um, if you guys want to buy the soap, it'll be ready in like three weeks, so just just stay tuned. I'll leave the date down below of when it will be available in the shop. Actually, I lied. <laughs> you can't buy this because it is going to Ellicott City. But if you live in the area and you go to visit Ellicott City, you might be able to get your hands on one. What am I saying? I'm trying to cut this from the other side. There we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but... If you want me to make this soap for you, let me know. I can always make another batch. I do love it that much. Um, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for my more fun soap making videos. I don't know why I always have trouble saying that. Um, <clears throat> and I'll smell you later.